Hi, uh, um, I'm going to show you how to migrate uh, uh, pipelines from one org to another uh, without changing the endpoints in this uh, video. Okay. Um, often we get these questions from our customers and prospects about you know how we, we have uh, uh, different orgs for uh, you know uh, dev uh, for testing as well as for production and uh, how do we migrate pipelines from one org to another without changing those endpoints. So that's what uh, you know um, I'm actually going to show you in this video. Okay, so. For the sake of this uh, 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 video, I have created two pipelines here. So this pipeline here, what it's doing is that you know it's reading from a Salesforce and uh, mapping some data and then uh, updating, um, inserting that data into a SQL Server. Okay, so you can you can see here that you know when it comes to the Salesforce or the SQL Server accounts. I'm actually getting those account details from a, a expression file, okay? Uh, so the same thing for the SQL Server here. I'm getting the SQL Server credentials and everything from uh, uh, the SQL Server account details from the expression file. So the expression file is something I have created in the pipeline properties as the accounts expression. And you can see here that, you know, we have uh, a, a dev or now, uh, you know, get the Salesforce details from uh, this location here and for the production, you know, get it from this uh, location and the name of that a particular uh, Salesforce account is called Salesforce test in, in the production. Same thing for the SQL Server. We're getting for the dev org, you know, get it from here and for the production org, get it from uh, this location here, okay? Um, for the sake of this demo, you know, assume that the Connect Faster Inc, uh, that is our dev org, and uh, I have another org that I'm going to use uh, as the target org or the, the production org, which is called the Compass PLC, okay? Now, um, um, now let's actually go to the, the target uh, uh, org, and uh, you can also see that you know there is a org aware example um, um, uh, pipeline uh, that's already over there. So let me go ahead and actually delete this pipeline. So uh, delete this pipeline, and then you know we will uh, uh, go back to the uh, uh, the de the dev org, which is the or the the source org, which is the connect faster uh, uh, org. Okay. So, so we have two pipelines here. One is the actual pipeline that we are going to migrate from uh, uh, the uh, source to target or the, you know dev to prod, however you want to call it. And uh, you know I have also created a second pipeline, and this pipeline is actually uh, let me actually go ahead and execute that. So this pipeline it's uh, copying all the source pipelines that I need from. Uh, you know uh, this particular uh, the dev org uh, and uh, so this is the dev org there is a project space and the actual project and then you know I'm creating those uh, pipelines in the production org so as you can see here I'm telling this pipeline that okay this is the uh, prod org the prod space and uh, the uh, prod project where uh, uh, those pipeline needs to be created and same thing with the, the files. You know, I have an expression file uh, that's in the dev org, the dev space, and where that uh, particular file is, you know, I'll copy that and create that file in the uh, uh, production org, okay? So I have executed that, and uh, let's also see one more thing here, you know, the actual pipeline. You know, when I validate this pipeline here, um, you can, as I shown you before, this uh, pipeline is actually looking into the uh, the Salesforce that uh, I have put in the expression uh, file, and uh, which is my personal Salesforce account. And all this information here is actually from my personal uh, Salesforce account. So the name is actually Todd Beyond Two. You know that's the first data that you see here. Okay. Same thing with the the SQL Server. Uh, you know, it's actually getting uh, putting all into a SQL server 
which is in uh, uh, my uh, source org or the dev org, which is the kind of best, okay? Now, uh, let's go to the Compass PLC org. And so this org is actually the, you know, think about this as the target org, or in our case, you know, let's say it's the production org, right? So um, I have uh, executed that second pipeline that I showed you before, and which actually should uh, create that pipeline in uh, under this project space called the CICD. Okay, so as you can see here, you know this is the one that I deleted before. So this has created that uh, org aware example pipeline here, and uh, let's go ahead and execute this pipeline. Okay, so uh, if it works fine, then it should actually read from the Salesforce account that's under Compass POC, right? So let's go ahead and open this. And as you can see here, the first data, it's actually the name is from Kansas City Southern. So this is a Salesforce account that's under this Compass PSV or the production org. So uh, what I have shown is that, you know, I have created this pipeline um, um, uh, that can actually automatically migrate pipelines from uh, one org to another. And also uh, using the, uh, the expression files, you know, you can, uh, um, uh, the migrated pipelines actually look into the endpoints uh, from the expression file rather than uh, you actually go and change it, okay? So that's what I have here. Thank you.